Well, as you can see, we are back at it again today. I've continued digging out my pseudo staircase and then proceeding to breach the uh, the threshold here. You may recall, probably not, there was a rock right here. And uh, I just got to the point where I could dig it out today. So somewhat of a, a milestone there, metaphorically and literally. Um, getting to the point where we can start to really see some progress, things sort of like that little inkling of taking shape. Not really a lot to vlog, it's just a lot of monotonous digging and whatnot, so not sure how the, the vlogs are going to go during this period, but there are some things that we'll probably need to do sprinkled in here, which is... I'm really thinking we're going to have to try and go ahead and set up the retaining wall, but for now it's just going to be a lot of digging, so I'll vlog what I can, try to keep things interesting. I don't really like it. I found that I watch a lot of videos of people building and doing things on property and stuff, and they tend to do like sped up sequences where they're they're working and they just play music or something and there's nothing really wrong with it and I don't think uh, there's never a use for it but I don't know if I really like doing that because I kind of feel like in general if you're speeding up footage it's oftentimes because it's something that wouldn't be interesting to watch so if there's something that should be sped up unless it's something very specific that you would like to time lapse and kind of show progress being made in a short amount of time it's probably something you should just cut from the video. So that's what I try to do. I don't know if people prefer the sped up stuff with music and whatnot. I've done a lot of different types of uh, videos and editing methods and stuff in my time. But uh, I just got to the point where I feel like just more real stuff is better. I don't know. And so ends another beautiful day on the mountain. And here's where we're at since the last update. We're down like another step. I went ahead and redid the steps a bit because they were getting, I don't know, these up top. God, I don't know if you can even see it. We're really wide and then they're getting really narrow down here. So I tried to even it out. Ah, and here's where we're at. Don't know how well you can see that, but at this rate, we may be down about close to halfway by the time I come out with the steps. It gets a bit wider as it goes, so we'll see how that ends up, but <sighs> this is where we be. And let's see how deep this is. Over here, where we originally started digging, it's about to my head. I'm, I'm about... 5-7, so uh, the squirrel's laughing at me for being short. I don't appreciate it. Anyway, so we're over five feet deep from the highest point of where we originally started digging. <sighs> you can see the dirt is accumulating up there, turning into a pile. Well, it's been a few days since I've been up to the property. Today is Black Friday. Just got back up here solo today, no help. And uh, it rained in the meantime. I think it was Wednesday. We got a pretty good rain most of the evening. And it turns our loose dirt or clay into wet loose dirt or clay. So just to make sure we got things off to the right start, the first thing I did when I got up here was slip and fall and <laughs> get wet, dirty clay all over my hands. So save for any more unfortunate events, we're going to try to get back on this today. I don't know how much digging I'll be doing solo. I don't know how well you can see that, but it looks a bit wet down there. There goes my phone. Brilliant. So as I was saying before I was interrupted, um, this silt fence here 
is gonna have to go in order to start digging that out. And considering how wet and muddy this is gonna get, I definitely need to get this cleared out so that there's more sunshine on it to dry it out. So uh, that's probably gonna be the priority for today, moving the silt fence. I don't know if I'll move all of it or just pull up this one stick for stake for now. Um, we're gonna get that dealt with and move on from there. These steps are fine when it's dry, but now that it's wet, it's uh, not leaving me with much uh, security. Well, that's one task down. Well, we're making some progress, albeit very slowly. So one of the big issues here with me doing this solo is I'm, I'm basically using both buckets still, and what I'm doing is taking one bucket as I fill it, and I'll hang it on this. And then I go back and dig, and I fill the other one up, and then I carry that one up all the way around over to here and dump it, and then I pull the other one up the cable, and dump it and then bring them both back down. The thing is I have to walk all the way around here and if I could go straight up here it would be more direct and we've considered that for a while. And then considering that this silt fence post stake here broke, I was thinking of reworking this silt fence in order to potentially make a path up here so I might look into that and see how that goes. So this is what I ended up doing. I took the silt fence down from around here, got rid of it from this spot, and then I basically just made it into an L shape here to create a catch for the leaves and debris and things like that that I'm uh, tossing up this way as well as somewhat of a backup for the one up top. But now we have this path clear. Don't have to worry about the bucket hitting on the way up and then if we want to create like a walking path here we should be able to do it. That looked interesting. So again, the progress today is slower than usual because I am working by myself, but we're making a dent in this whole area here. If you can see, like it came out to about here, up to that, and I've gotten it dug out all by myself. And it's things like that, you know, being able to see the difference you made, like the rock getting to that point. I saw that rock sticking out of the, the side there ever since we got this property and uh, to finally like dig out to the point where I removed that rock, having this whole piece here and, and whittling it down so that I can see this huge dent in the mountain out to the edge. It's just like those little milestones help you to stay motivated, I guess, because otherwise it's, it just feels like you're digging a hole for no reason. So when you start to see things taking shape, it really helps. It doesn't like, it doesn't cure the fact that you're digging a massive amount of dirt out trying to do a driveway by hand and it seems impossible, it feels impossible and probably is impossible. At least in terms of 
the rules you have to follow. If I could just throw the dirt down anywhere I wanted to, then I just throw it down on the the, the road down there and <laughs> be digging away, man. But considering the constraints you have to deal with, it may well be impossible to do this. <clears throat> but for now, I don't know if I can afford to do anything else. So better to be doing something than nothing, I guess. And again, if we can at least even that sounds kind of daunting, but if we can at least make like a more suitable pathway up here, that'll be an accomplishment in itself. So, I don't know. You just keep digging and see where it leads you. And uh, like I said, those little milestones where you can see a little bit of progress in what you're doing, they, they help a lot to... Uh, Keep the motivation up, keep the morale up a little bit. See that little mud puddle right there? Oh, water just dropped into it. It's coming from this root, keeps leaking water. It actually, ah, camera doesn't want to focus. There's a drop, there it goes, boop. It actually like, it hits my leg when I'm working here. My leg keeps feeling wet Where it keeps putting water on me. I assume it's water. I hope it's water Remember the bug I was filming on my step Well, I thought he flew away But evidently he did not and I think I stepped on him damn it He was gonna be the star he was gonna be the mascot. He's still alive currently. I don't know if he will be able to survive his injuries or if this is the end of his story, but nonetheless, he will live on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we currently stand. Well, down here anyway. So this is what I've dug out. That whole piece is gone and it's pretty much in line with my original line there. Close to the same level that I dug out here, but we do have some loose dirt. And uh, I think that's a strategy I'm going to try and employ. So obviously wet dirt is much heavier than dry dirt. <laughs> and uh, you know, every time I come to dig, the top is more or less dry, and then everything below that is saturated. So, an idea that I had that I'm going to try to employ today, and if I can come back tomorrow, I'll find out how well it works, is actually dig up a bunch of dirt and have all that loose dirt, hopefully kind of aerating, or whatever you call it, uh, drying out. And then tomorrow, I'll have a bunch of just dry dirt to kind of easily get going into the flow of things again. Obviously it won't last that long, but I uh, thought it'd be worth a try. <sighs> ah. So one thing I was thinking about while I've been up here working is, I don't know, like when you're doing this kind of stuff, it's like <clears throat> you have this overall idea of what it is you're trying to accomplish and you have like ambitions for it and you have the drive of like what if I could do that you know all that kind of stuff I guess wanting to prove yourself and save money all that stuff like accomplish a goal and as you begin to work it's like I said you have those motivational milestones or whatever and they help but as you just continue working I feel like the big picture kind of fades away, it evaporates, and you just are stuck into this repetitious, overwhelming task that you're doing. So it's like, awesome, little boost of confidence, a little bit of motivation. I see things changing. I see the topography uh, rearranging in front of me and I'm the one doing this or whatever, but shortly thereafter, you're just digging again. At least for me, it's like this whole time, you know, while I'm working, I'm kind of, doubting myself the whole time and also have the like kind of a weird like complex where I'm always worried about someone 
being annoyed or, or me like doing something to infringe on someone and like getting in trouble for it as though like if that happens that's gonna stop everything I'm doing so that's something I'm definitely trying to <laughs> overcome and I think this project is maybe a good exercise of that is like not not feeling like every time you step on someone's toes it's gonna derail your future or something like that but the whole time I'm working I'm just kind of thinking and more or less feeling negative about it and you know I'm still doing it because I still know like logically that is the goal I'm, I'm working towards but I think uh, part of it also you know is it's uncertainty of whether or not you can do it and there's also you know the consideration that if we can get to a certain point maybe we could rent a tractor and do this more efficiently that way um, but I also think there's an element of like, maybe it comes back to that complex of feeling like people are gonna to try to stop you or something as I, I, I have like a drive to do something that's impressive. And I don't know, I mean, in a way that's a good thing, but I don't really like it because a lot of times I feel like when I do something and I expect that people are gonna be impressed by it, they're usually not. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, it just seems kind of like a fruitless uh, journey to, to have it in mind that you're going to do something that people are going to marvel at. And while I, I do believe that digging out a mountain driveway with this much dirt to be moved by hand is an impressive task if I were to witness someone do it, I don't think it's one of those things that are like stick in people's mind. Like, that guy dug a driveway, oh boy, how amazing, it's like, who cares? So, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's about impressing myself and I'm projecting it as pre impressing other people. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it's those things I feel like in your head it's like something that's motivating you and like, oh, what if I could do that? But at the same time, I feel like it has like a, a side effect or maybe an incidental inverse effect of demotivating you. Because if you don't get that feedback that you want, then you're not going to feel too good about things. And then even if you do, that's short-lived. Like, your, your motivation can't be just that because what do you do afterwards? You know, and like, if you're doing something to benefit yourself, what does it matter if it impresses other people? I don't know. I'm just rambling, but that's what's been on my mind, what I've been thinking, and I just thought I would share it. My mistake. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna be wrapping it up here today, or I'm gonna be wrapping it up here today. Gonna dump these two buckets, and like I said, I'm gonna try to dig up this ground here, this beautiful orange ground. Get some loose dirt that'll hopefully dry out and make my life a little bit easier tomorrow. And we'll be back at it, hopefully. Or whenever I come back here. Alright, well you're not done with my dumb face just yet today. I figured I would show you what I did here and what I'm thinking. So, here's where we are. This is, uh, I kind of sheared this off a bit more. Dug that out, dug some down there, down there. And we got a nice little pile of dirt sitting there, hopefully. To dry out for tomorrow or whenever. Hopefully it doesn't rain because then I'll be sad. Another thing that I've been pondering on and uh, I hate going back and forth on things. I really dislike being indecisive. I've been indecisive a lot in my life and I've tried to make efforts to overcome it. Look at the, look at the sky we got today. Ugh. Not the most glorious near sunset I've ever seen, but it looks pretty majestic. Is it just me? Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Talking about a lot of personal stuff today. I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's okay. I've been trying to just keep the vlogs more about the work, but it is what it is. It's a vlog. So we're back here at the. Yeah, I don't even want to. The rock whose name we shall not speak of. The rock we shall not, we're speaking of it. Damn it. So if you recall, I had this idea here to 
dig this out as the potential parking area <clears throat> and have a flat area to move dirt from down there so that we could have big piles of dirt here that we could later move and get something of a driveway set up at least on the front end where we could pull in and park etc and then I moved away from that idea in large part because of this and also because of the walk to get rid of the dirt however now that I have this nifty cable set up I was considering returning to that idea and setting the cable up to there somewhere putting silk fence up just like we've done on the other side now that we've made a dent in that coming back over here and trying to flatten this out now we may not be able to flatten it out as deep as I would like it to go like uh, down to driveway level I don't really know exactly where that would be and how all that would line up but we could at least create a flat area here in order to move dirt from down there and then if we're gonna rent a machine or something that's what we need in order to have a machine in here I gotta have somewhere for all this dirt to go and there's no way you're taking a little excavator digging like a bucket of dirt from the excavator it's like one whole bucket that we're moving now and there's just that's too much earth being moved at one time to dispose of the way that we're doing it so if we had this cleared out so that if I run a machine I can dig and push dirt up into this area to get the driveway set up there somewhere we can park and I got to have a driveway in order to apply for an address and all that stuff so if we're gonna have things delivered here like building materials or anything like if I got to order stuff to make the retaining walls things like that there might be a way I could just tell them where to put it but it would be easier to order things especially if there's anything that's got to be ordered online to have an address so I got to have the driveway before I can have an address and I got to have somewhere to put the dirt before I can get a machine in order to make the driveway you see it all comes full circle so that's the idea that I'm thinking of currently is uh, now that we're making headway down there and we have a system that works maybe that's a proof of concept for the original idea I had I really hate flip-flopping and going back and forth that doesn't mean like if we do it that way that I'll be doing it immediately I still want to try to make uh, meaningful progress over here first but once that's at an acceptable stage state then I was thinking about retrying this method because if we have a way in over there then we just got to have somewhere to put the dirt and then we can look into renting a machine and even if we don't rent a machine I can set the cable system up from there to here and we can run dirt just like more or less horizontally over to this area and that might make it easier to pull it along and do all that work so either way I think that might be the most strategic and efficient way to go about this even though I do hate that it makes me feel like I'm flip-flopping back and forth between strategies but uh, anyway that's what I'm thinking a lot of talking talky talky talky